Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Talking to Art. Um, I'm Arizona Lowe and I'll be your host and co-hosting with me is Tammy Cook. Hi Tammy. Hi, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. How's the weather on the East Coast? Awesome, beautiful, can't ask for anything better. There you go. That's awesome. And we've been having 60 degree weather, it's a heat wave. I love it. Oh, it's so nice. It is. Yay! <laughs> well, I wanted to start out. Everybody, you know, hears me saying um, this is sponsored by Today's Visions. So I wanted to start by doing a shout out of all the artists who have signed up in the galleries of the Today's Visions. We have our very own Miss Tammy Cook Yay. has a live site. And Joyce Dickens has a very active site, and Debbie Ferrand has a site. Um, but we also have some more members who haven't yet got their sites up and running yet. It's Tim Longwell, Jordan Blackstone, Mark Myhaver, who used to curate the galleries, Miriam Morris, Darren Robinson, Sarah Loft, and Kay Minner. So, yay! Welcome to the village. Oh, that deserves a big shout out. <laughs> <laughs> now with us today is a wonderful portrait artist and landscape artist, David Patterson. Hi David. How are you doing? Nice um, to be here. I am so glad you could join us. We are so excited about it. <laughs> well, as excited as I am. <laughs> well, you were having great kittens earlier. And so I'm not sure if that was excitement or nerves. On whose part? On yours. <laughs> what did I do? Well, you said you were having kittens. Oh yeah, earlier on I was having kittens. I was. I've been excited and nervous. Feel better now that you've hung First up with us in the green room. Mm -hmm. Um. So, tell us a little bit about where your art career, how you, how your art career started, and when. Oh my! God. It started around 1981, where I decided to. Um, I s saw a picture in a gallery window, and I thought the price was ridiculously high. And I was with my sister at the time, and, and um, I knew she had watercolor paints. So I borrowed these watercolor paints, and I got nowhere with them. I'm totally useless with watercolor. <laughs> I work in acrylics and oils. Anyway, I didn't give up, and I could draw, and I started, uh, I think I drew a portrait for a family member. And someone seen one, and then it took off. I was doing like one portrait a week for God knows how long, and um, not making a lot of money, but it was extra income. And I worked at the same time. I had a job. I was a painter and decorator. That's a, that's an awful lot of you know to do to work a full time job plus then do a uh, portrait a week. Yeah. Uh, um, but the the paint the painting and decorating that was hard laborious job uh, and sometimes long hours. So I I, I actually was a um, a master craftsman in painting and decorating, um, but. The, tech, the the skills I, I learned in there helped in my art career when it came to oil paints and acrylics and mixing colours and stuff like that and doing layers and broken broken colour techniques and stuff. So it sort of ties in with my art. I've done other jobs as well when I was unemployed as a painter and decorator and I went back to college as well in the 80s and I'd done computing. Oh, you went back to college to study computers. 
I went to college for two years and I, I got a diploma, a higher national diploma in computer data processing, which uh, is useless now. <laughs> and then I've got a, I went back to college again and I've done a, a diploma in small business financial management. Well, that helps you with your art me. career. Helps me with bookkeeping now. My art career, as you see, is on my website. Most of, most of my paintings are there's a few missing that I don't have images of. That I mm -hmm. wish I had images of. I've done a beautiful pencil drawing of a Celtic football team, which is one of the premier football teams in Scotland. And um, they had won the treble, which is the league. Oh, I don't know, it was three cups anyway. And I drew these three cups, silver cups, on with pencil and round about some prominent players of the game for this guy in Glasgow. And uh, I saw the drawing again about a year afterwards. And I was sitting staring at it. He had it all framed and framed nicely. And I said, who drew that? That's fantastic. I forgot now it was me that drew it. <laughs> and I, I was sitting studying. I was sitting studying, and he says, "You drew that, you silly so and so." <laughs> and that sort of it's typical of what I do. I sit and I work away at a picture. You work on tiny areas. You you use different paint techniques, and you step back, go make a cup of tea, come back through, and say. Oh my God, look at that, I painted that. It's like it was somebody else that was doing it. It's like, it, ast it astonishes me every time, sort of thing. This painting behind me, the rain romance, I just love that. That's, I worked I think on that that's... for months and eventually finished it last week or the week before. And um, uh, Yeah, that's, that's got to be my favorite. It, it, when a painting falls together, it just makes me fall in love with it. And well, I, do, um, I do it to, it gives me pleasure, and I hope it gives my audience, whoever's looking at my paintings, I hope it gives them pleasure. Well, speaking of audience, we have Blair in the house. Hi, Blair. Um, he's saying hi to Debbie, who is also in the house. Hi, Debbie. And. Ron um, Ron Snayberger says, I love his voice and accent. I could listen to him talk for hours. I have to agree. There's something about the, the Scottish accent that is fabulous. <laughs> so your landscapes... I don't hear it. <laughs> yeah, my landscapes. Your landscapes. Um, is it the Scottish... Um, scenery that prompts us? Yeah, definitely. Um, the landscapes come from Constable, an English painter we have all heard of. The Haywain and uh, Canterbury Cathedral down in England, and mm -hmm. I, I studied his paintings and thought thought they were marvelous paintings, and they inspired me to do landscapes. And because I live in Scotland, I live in this beautiful area. The 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 surrounding scenery and even up in the Highlands, the scenery up there is just awesome. So you you have to I draw what I see, I paint. I see, so uh, I love Scotland. So, but I will do. I've done. I've got a landscape of Wales of um, a, the, a man-made lake at the base of Mount Snowdon, the highest mountain in Wales. Um, it's called Lynn Nantle, and it was created for a hydro dam, and uh, it sits. So at the base of Mount Snowdon, and on the behind Mount Snowdon, 
there's a hill called the Elephant because it looks a bit like an elephant. And I love that painting as well. It's got a great big fish in it. I don't know if you've seen it. I, I don't think it's on. It's not on my website. It's yeah. not on my website. I've posted it on Google. I've posted it on Google Plus. I had it as my profile background picture for a while. There's this big salmon fish on, in the right in the middle of it. I'm, I'm glad to <laughs> see it. Out I of the water. Find it. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. When did you post that? Oh, I keep changing the background image and I posted it a while ago. Um, am I able to show you on here? Yeah, you can do a screen Can I go share. to my desk? Can I share anything on my desktop? There's a green button with an arrow that's for screen share. Just remember that it actually shows what's on your computer. <laughs> yeah, everything is on your computer. <laughs> Um, and while you're looking for that, I'm going to say, hi, Renee. I hit the wrong thing. Sorry. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Renee. Hey, Blair. <laughs> Ron. <laughs> Did you find the screen share button, David? Yeah, I'm finding it. I'm, uh, I'm getting it up on the screen. I think. I think that's what I mean. Does that mean the picture should have? <clears throat> Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> okay, now would be a good time for Tammy Cook's uh, water camera story. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to, but it is fine. Okay, well, real short. Um, I always wanted to do wave photos, so I bought a cheap water camera, and off to the beach I go to get the picture I've always wanted to get, and um, <clears throat> being that I was so excited, I realized I didn't have the strap, so I sent my husband to go get it, but um, I didn't wait for him, and off I go into the ocean, freezing ocean, for about 45 minutes trying to get this shot and um, I actually ended up getting the shot I wanted and in one second I was elated the other second the camera went out to sea oh, <laughs> more of what the story is when direction says do not use without the do not go in the water without the strap they're not kidding because <laughs> you're gonna lose it oh my Oh wow! Yeah. All right. So, David, did you I'm find so, your image? I'm so lucky to hear that. I, I found the image. Yeah. Oh, it was my and, own uh, fault. So. Oh. It's sorry to hear about bad. Tommy's camera. I at least wish I could I have gotten the shot. To from it. <clears throat> and here's, or if you can't find it, you could always post it on the event page. Yeah, that's true later. And Blair says, Scotland's such a beautiful country. Little wonder David is inspired by what he sees. And that's true. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, I've never seen oh, that picture. I haven't either. That is gorgeous. I'm beeping in because I can't see. That is beautiful. That amazes me how you... I can't see. Oh, wow. That is so good. Is Fabulous, absolutely gorgeous. Put it on big. Do that. Put it on a bigger again, uh, David. <clears throat> Pardon? Yeah, keep it right there for a second. That's beautiful. I love the clouds. It looks so enough natural. Of it? We'll take it. We'll, okay. We'll take it down. Yeah, we're good. That's awesome. I cannot believe you. That is. I know. <laughs> Debbie Ferran says, oh my god, you lost your camera, Tammy? Oh no. You know, I could do a whole show on Tammy bloopers. <laughs> it's a lot more fun stretching them out this way. I know. David, do you figure out how to join us back? There he is. Here are we. Yay, there you are.
Am I back? Yes, you you're back. Are. So, David, have you always lived in Scotland? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Can you hear us, David? I can hear you, but my screen was not. I don't know what's going on. Well, Tammy was wanting to know if you've always lived in Scotland. Yes, lived in Scotland all my life. And what's the name of the town you live in? Or do you call it do you call it a town? Do you call it a village? It's it was a city, but it's not counted as a city anymore. It was it's still a cathedral city, Elgin. It's a capital city of Murrayshire in the northeast tip of Scotland. And uh, I've lived here most of my life, I've lived in Ayrshire, I've lived in Perthshire, I've lived in Inverness, and Bucky, which is, Bucky is just a small fishing village along oh. the coast, about 16 miles. I lived in Bucky twice. Three and where did you get your greatest inspiration? Which particular town? Um, no particular town has inspired me. What inspires me is people's faces. I've always thought I was a shy kind of person, and I used to stare and listen on what them. We like to talk a lot. <laughs> what was um, the most difficult portrait you had to do? And what made it difficult? The most difficult portrait. Um, the most difficult portrait is a portrait of my niece when she was five or six years old. And I messed it up about three times. And uh, I think that it was. More and she was not a lot to go on having a smooth. You can imagine a child's face. It's, mm -hmm. um, it's not, it hasn't hasn't got any wrinkles and lines and definite features. It's there's like two eyes, a mouth, and a nose, and that's it, and a round circle sort of thing. And um, so that one, and then the other one was the, the portrait of Ingrid Bergman. Um, oh no! In in our old age, just before she died, with the wrinkles and lines and the beauty still shining through the the the, the age old face that had had many many experiences. So it's the inspiration comes from people. To see people, I think people are beautiful. And then when I see things like animals, birds, anything like that, nature, and I find it beautiful, I try, or I imagine capturing it maybe in a ph photograph or in a painting and sharing it with people. Because if you're going to be happy, the most happiness comes from sharing things with people, sharing your life. I could totally agree with that, can't you, Tammy? Absolutely. And life's about sharing. Life is about being happy. It's not about be getting riches and taking drugs or <laughs> losing your camera and they'll see. It's about being able to laugh and be happy and not care if you lose your camera and they'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe that, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. Yeah, in fact, I've Ron... been looking forward to seeing these wonderful, wonderful undersea shots, underwater shots from Tommy Cook. 
And now she's going to have to go and buy a new camera. You know I'm going to. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll go shoot them and then you can paint it. <laughs> well, I posted a, a lovely picture. I shared, I reshared a picture from somebody of a turtle under the water. Absolutely beautiful. Really? Think, uh, I'll definitely check it out. You, I'm a wee bit behind it. on my Google Plus this last week. <laughs> You are, yeah. Did you get my recommendation to go for uh, seafood in the in the, the what is it called in the savannah? No, I didn't get that. I sent you a recommendation to go to the seafood restaurant in Savannah. Really? Well, I know I didn't get it. Did you message it to me? I did, yes. And how do you know about Savannah? You've been there before? Uh, you put... No, I looked on Google Maps and I found a restaurant. <laughs> oh. What, restaurant, what well, restaurant was it? Maybe I ate there. <laughs> there's something funny. Fanny? I can't remember now. Oh, I Fanny, wish I'd yeah, seen the, it. Something funny um, or the funny something. I'll check it out. I'm sorry. There, there's something really weird going on with Google Plus, and I don't know if it's just me, but I uh, no. things are really messed up. Debbie says, uh oh, the Google Gremlins are showing themselves. Yeah, it, it's been kind of awkward, um, which is really weird because everything else has been great since this last update. And um, Debbie, yeah, they're. Go ahead. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely you, weird. You posted a, you posted a photograph with the pier in the background, an evening photograph, a sunset photograph of somebody with a camera in their hand. So I looked it up to see where you were. Oh, well, that was so sweet of you. You're too and sweet. I, and I found this. Uh, well, I could either be sweet or stalking you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's really funny now with Google Earth, you can actually stalk somebody from your computer, it seems like. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I know. Thought, I it's... thought she would like this restaurant because of the name. It was uh, something funny. You must look <laughs> it up yourselves. Yeah, well, Dubai, I'm going back. Just off the beach. Yeah, so Just I'm off going the beach back, from. So I will definitely it's on a corner. go there. It's only about four hours away. Oh, that's not bad. Debbie says, ha, 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 God love our Google Maps. That is you true. know, that's pretty. It's amazing how they zoom in and really are right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got a Google Map, you, or, um, David. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to try to figure out where you live. <laughs> I'm going to Google Map you. <laughs> Google Map me. <laughs> yeah. I think that would be awesome. I I really am proud of you for coming on the show. Um, I know you're a little bit nervous, but I think you're a fabulous artist. I'm, You know, I love, love your work. You know, I'm a big fan of yours. So I'm really glad that you came on so we can show you to the world. <laughs> well, you yeah, know, that's because I bugged and bugged Thank you very and much. bugged. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Tommy's. And I, I love Arizona. Aw, thank you. Oh, yeah. I, I think she's... I think she, Arizona, you're awesome for inviting me on your show. I, I so um, wanted to see you on here. I mean, the world needs to know about you. They do. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to take a road trip to Scotland. Well, you know, yeah, that's definite. Gary wants to go there so bad, and I want to see Ireland. Um, so does Debbie Fran. She, she said in one of her earlier comments that Scotland and Ireland were both on her bucket list. But, you know, when, when I met pre-show with David, I insulted him because the first question out of my mouth was, 
So, where in England are you from? <laughs> it was like, oops. <laughs> well, I'm glad you said that one. <laughs> That would have been nice. Yeah, some, 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 some Americans think Scotland's a little village up the north of England. Yeah, I know better than that one. <laughs> well, you know, if you've never been there... And you didn't pay attention in geography. Yeah. yeah. Which I did, and I slept, yeah, or I taught. <laughs> if you've never been to school and never saw a map... <laughs> if you know me... um. I don't use maps well. <laughs> That's why uh, I have a husband. <laughs> Ron says a lot is just fiction of his paintings. And hold on, how he talks about the wrinkles in her oh, face, but the beauty still shines through. What'd you say, David? Ingrid Bergman. I'm reading the Ron Schneeberger. Oh. Uh, he's talking about Ingrid Bergman. Yeah, he he loves how you talk about the wrinkles in her face, but the beauty still shines through. So I'm just yeah. sharing some of the comments from our, our viewers. You can see my, my face. There's no beauty shines through whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the wrinkles kind of get there, and then that's it. They're there. I don't know. Mine are still there, and they're not shining through. <laughs> <laughs> Can you paint mine out? <laughs> I don't know. Give me, give me a glamour glow. Okay, guys, our time is about up. I think I need an awful lot of paint, Tommy. <laughs> 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 David, is there something I'm, you would? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, darling. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Is there something I what? Would you like to tell the audience again how to find your website and yada 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 before we go? Yeah, it's www.pattersonportraits.com, and they and can. Patterson one T, me. not two. One T, not two. Yeah, Patterson portraits, and they can commission me. I'll do portraits from photographs and live sittings, which are more expensive. Um, can contact me by using the contact page on the website. Email me at david at pattersonportraits.com. Patterson with one T. And my, uh, if, the, if you're in the UK, my mobile phone number is on the website as well, on the contact page. I wouldn't recommend. Or you can contact me on Google. There you go. Plus, on Hangouts. And Tammy. On a private post. Tammy, is there anything you would like to say as a, a final remarks? Well, well, I kind of messed myself up because I already said it, but I'll say it again. How much I love David Patterson and his work and how proud I am that he came on here. And um, we finally got it all worked out, thanks to you, Arizona, getting all those technical things worked out and if you're not following David Patterson go look him up on G plus or his website he he just has some amazing work and I'm really really glad that we've become friends because he inspires me <laughs> oh I bet we can see this oh yeah that's my favorite picture he's done that's a, that's like what some oh that is really cool something he's done so that is really wickedly cool I know it's really it's cool wow this is something I like to do is um, photo realistic drawing of my spectacles that is incredible Definitely. just <laughs> incredible um, Renee Storm says she enjoys all of David Patterson's paintings. They are excellent, and Thank I have to agree. Much, 
And I guess as final comments, I'm going to invite each and every one of y'all to come over to todaysvisions.com. It's T-O-D-A-Y-S-V-I-S-I-O-N-S.com. And just click the button to join. It's free. Get free promotion. A free website if you want it. So go over and check it out. Uh, I don't reckon we have anything else to say, so I'm going to say bye, y'all. Bye. Oh, I do. Bye. One more thing. Thanks, David, me. thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. I'm so glad you finally agreed. You're welcome. <laughs> now thank I'm you for having me. I hope, I, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I, I did. And I did. Now I'm going to say bye, y'all. <laughs>